Hey, Lemlisters! Today, I'm going to show you how to create a sequence on Lemlist. It is super easy. I'm going to walk you through it step by step. And I'm also going to show you a bunch of amazing features that are going to help you generate a kick-ass response rate. So let's do it. First of all, you want to choose a name for your campaign. And then you can also add an emoji to your campaign. But if it's not your thing, don't worry about it. It's not at all mandatory. What I highly advise you do, though, is to add relevant labels to your campaigns because it's really going to help you a lot in keeping an organized internal structure on the app. Once you've done all that, you can click on Next and you can add your leads to your campaign. There's multiple options on how to do that. You can upload a CSV, enter them manually, and even directly connect your CRM to Lemlist. If that's what you want to do, you can just click on Settings and choose the CRM system that you want to connect. For this demo, I'm going to show you how to add your leads via CSV upload. And in order to do that, big shocker, you're going to have to prepare a CSV file. So you can prepare, for example, a Google Sheets that you're going to export as a CSV file. And you want this Google Sheet to contain all of the columns that will represent the custom variables that you'll be using in your email template. And there you go. Once you've done that, you can just download it as a CSV file, click on upload and drag and drop your CSV file in the app. Then you'll have a little preview of everything that will be imported. So you have the names of your columns from the CSV file that will be associated to the custom tags in Lemlist. And here you can just verify that everything is okay by looking at the sample values. For me, everything looks good. However, I have one column from my CSV file that doesn't actually represent a custom tag. So I don't want to import it because I just use it for internal organization. So I'm just going to choose the don't import this column on the drop down menu. And then I click on next. And I will be taken to the third step, which is creating my email sequence. As you can see, we have the subject line with our first name custom variable and our email body. Now, first of all, saying just, hey, as you know, not very personalized, not awesome. So I want to add my first name custom tag here in the email body. And I can just use that little feature here that is called custom variables and add my custom variable in just one click. Then I have an amazing personalized video screenshot. I'm not going to go into detail about this feature in this video, but stay tuned for Anna Ed's video where she's going to tell you everything that you need to know about this feature. Then I can also add a signature to my email. You can just configure your signature in the custom settings and then add it in one click in your email templates via this feature here. And as you know, it's super important to have unsubscribe links in all of your email campaigns. So you can also add them in just one click here in the sequence creator. Now I'm happy with my email template, but I would like to know what it would look like if I sent it to a lead. I can just click on the little email preview here and then play around with the custom variables and to see what it would look like if I sent it to someone. So as you can see, I have the first name that is added in my video screenshot and the respective slots in my email template. And I even have the company logo that will be personalized based on the email that I enter here. Now, if I want to compare, for example, what my email would look like on desktop versus mobile, I can just send a sample email to my email address via this button right here. And I can see what it would look like on the two devices. Now, once I'm happy with my email template, I can create the following steps of my campaign sequence. So for example, I want to send one follow-up that will be sent three days after my first email. So I can just increase this delay right here and then configure my follow-up email. What is really important to know here is that the subject line is going to determine whether your follow-up is going to be sent in the same loop or in a different loop of your first email. So if you leave it blank, you'll be sending your follow-up in the same loop. And if you add a different subject line, your follow-up is going to be sent in a separate email. So once you have configured that and you're happy with your sequence, you can just click on Next. 
and then you can choose the scheduling of your campaign. So my campaign is in the US. That's why I'm choosing New York office hours. And here I can still customize the scheduling of my campaign. So let's say I want to reach a lead every 15 instead of every five minutes. I can just adapt that here and I'll be informed that my campaign will reach 30, 36 new leads every day. I can also customize on which days of the week I want to send my campaign. And once I'm happy with my configuration, I can just click on next. And I can choose the email address from which I want to send my campaign. So I'm going to choose my email address. And then I can also tell Lamlist when to stop sending my follow-up sequence. So let's say that my objective is to hit as many replies from people as possible. Then I can just say, okay, stop sending my follow-up emails once that a lead has replied to my email. And once this is configured, I can create my campaign. As you can see here, we have each and every email that is customized per lead, and we can just see what it looks like. And for example, if I find a typo or if I have a last minute idea for personalization, I can just adjust it right here at the step and then send out my email. I can also tell the tool how many people I want to send my email to at the scheduled time. So if I want to send it to only one lead, I can choose review one right here. Or if I want to send it to my two leads, I can choose review all right here. And then once this is done, you're done. You've sent your first campaign. If you want to add leads at a later point to your campaign, you can also do that. And if you don't always want to um, pass by the review step, you can also check the feature experimental on the settings section. So you scroll all the way down and you check this box right here, then you won't always have to click on review. So it depends on how you want to function with your emailing campaigns. I hope this video helped you guys and happy cold emailing everyone.